You know, it, it dawns on me that sometimes your best opportunity for a niche already exists within your book of business. Mm -hmm. So think about this. Chances are a great niche exists, or actually possibly two or three niches exist among your existing book of relationships. So I want you to think about the following. Grab a, grab a pen and a piece of paper, and I want you to write down the names of three of your best clients. Now, best doesn't necessarily mean largest. It just simply means individuals who are financially well qualified. But more importantly, you've got a great conversational working relationship with them. That they also are active and engaged. Now, they can be retired, but they still are active in, in their communities. Now, here are several questions I want you to answer about those three clients. Number one, how did you get introduced to that client? Number two, what's that client's source of wealth? And answer that with great specificity if you can. Number three, who are their other professional influencers? This could be attorneys, it could be CPAs, it could be consultants. Number four, what are the natural groups or trade associations that they would be members of based upon their profession and or their affinities? Number five, outside of work and their immediate families, what are their great passions and interests in life? And then finally, who are their three BFFs, as my teenagers would say, their best friends forever? Now, what I'd like you to do, once you've got that information down on papers, I'd like you to do a little analysis. Here are some things that you might find. When you think about sources of wealth, how many other individuals within your portfolio of clients have that similar source of wealth? Chances are you might be in a circumstance there that there are several people that share a similar source of wealth. That might be a great niche. Let's look at the attorneys and the CPAs. You may find that you've got several clients that use the same attorney or use the same CPA. Are you networking with those attorneys and those CPAs to find ways that you can mutually benefit clients by working in tandem and not just uh, individually? Let's think about this natural trade group and associations. I was working with a client at one point in time when uh, I asked about this, and they were a member of the National Car Wash Association. They owned several uh, coin car washes. And I said, well, that's, that's interesting as an advisor, as an outside business. I said, have you ever thought about uh, using that as a, a target market and a target niche? Now, this was a practitioner that was in the business that had an outside business of a coin car wash and had never thought about that as an opportunity to influence <laughs> others. So kind of an interesting sidebar. The next point is passions and interests. And you talked a little bit about that, Linda, just a few moments ago when you talked about the tennis pro, but that can be a great, uh, great scenario. And don't forget about the best friends because those are huge opportunities because very often these are people who have similar interests, they have similar uh, outtakes and ways that they like to engage in life, vacations, et cetera. So niches need not be this all encompassing thing. It may be existing just inside your book of business. I'll challenge you to do this. If you'll do those three relationships right now, I promise you're gonna find some opportunities there to grow your niche practice. Then if you'll follow that up by examining three more clients a week for the next 10 weeks, you'll be shocked at what you discover.